Welcome back to the lab, folks. So sorry I haven't been putting out a lot of contact lately. I've been uh, very much under the terrible weather we've been having here for uh, quite a few days. So, But now I'm back on my feet and I'm going to get back into it with a, a, a little AliExpress haul from uh, the intervening days. It's a little mailbag for you. All right, so let's see what we have up here first. So this is just another parts box, and I think there must be, I think there must be three or four of them in this pile somewhere. But I, I go through a lot of these, so I keep buying them, and uh, leave a link to them down below. They're very handy. It allow me to get uh, a good stock of parts in here at the back of my bench over there, um, so I can have them on hand for various things, so parts, hardware, plug sockets, all that sort of stuff. Now these are uh, adapters. These are DC power adapters, and I think, I'm not sure, but I think they all take standard 5x2.1 going in and then offer every imaginable output. I'm going to have a good use for these. Normally what I do is I try to save ends off of old uh, wall warts and stuff like that, and I'll, I'll snip them off, and then I'll make up cables with little different ends. Okay, and the last item that came in that bag, this is a power bank. I think. Uh, what it is, is a, just a power bank that you put your own batteries into. And it gives you a type C out and two type A's out and an in for charging it up. And you put your own 18650 cells in this. Let me see if I can pop this open. Yeah, there we go. We had some uh, very enthusiastic clips there at the back that we eventually got out. So here it is. You put in your 18650 cells and along here and you have a power bank. So it takes eight cells. If you get the 3200 milliamp hour capacity cells, this should give a, a really nice power bank. We'll see. We'll do a little video on that at some point in the future. I have to order in all the cells though. I don't have a, a good source for them yet. Okay, next up, what do we have here? It's just a little cutting mat. This is not actually for me. I got this for my wife. So I will hand that off to her. Yeah, here's just another one of those parts cases, parts boxes. Ah, smaller parts box. And this is, ah yes, 35 watt portable solar panel. Now, Judging from the size of it, I have my doubts that it's 35 watts, but I will test this at some point. What this is for is I want to have a gazebo outside and I built up a little Bluetooth speaker as a kit on, on my channel here. And I want to install this this summer out in the gazebo and I want to provide some sort of uh, solar power for it. So that's always ready to go. I don't have to put batteries in, I don't have to charge it. It's going to do it, look after it itself. Uh, unfortunately, this one here is broken. That will happen from time to time. Okay, I'll, I'll have to let the seller know. Yeah, let's have a look at this. This is supposed to be a loop, a fairly high powered loop. It's supposed to be a 30 times loop. That's a lot. Let me check this out myself here. It works. It uh, is very clear. And that's going to come in extremely handy just to sit here on the bench to check out part numbers. These are for upstairs in my little lab in my office. Uh, I'm short of them up there, so I decided to get some. Now these ones here are a little bit different than the ones I normally get. These ones here are for much lower current. I think these are like number 18 wire. These things here are number 16 wire, and they have uh, much bigger clips on them. So one of the reasons I got these is because the clips are smaller. If you have a bunch of the clips all together, it's difficult to get them in close to each other. Very limp, very nice. Not quite as nice as these ones. But then again, I think they're a little bit less money too. Double terminal blocks. I go through a lot of these. You, you see them all the time in the projects I'm doing, even the little experiments that I do. 0.508 spacing on the leads here, screw terminals. I have another one of those that they shipped it separately, and I don't know why. Let me show you these. These are aluminum oxide insulating wafers 
or transistors and such. I've never used these before. I've used the mica ones and little ceramic impregnated silicon ones. I've used those. If you go by the, the thermal resistance, if the silicon ones were three, then same size and same thickness, the micas would be around about one and a half. And then these would be around about three quarters. So these are really, really good conductors of heat, but they're very, very good electrical insulators. And I got three different sizes here. Yeah, so less than a quarter of the thermal resistance of the silicone wafers, that's going to make a tremendous difference. These here are just little banana plug to DC power. They're not for, for very, very high power. They've got a nice silicone wire on them. But this is just for quick hookups, and I can use them with those adapters that I had over there. There's thinner wire than the, the normal ones I get. But what they have down here at the end are the little grabbers. So you get the very tight quarters. Now these ones, this set here, I'm going to keep most of them down here in this lab. Very nice. I don't think it's silicone, but it's very close. Maybe it is. And these grabbers are nice. These actually work. But these are going to come in handy. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This is something I was looking forward to. I'm going to get more of these if it's anywhere near as precise as they say it is. This is a resistor standard. And it's supposed to be extremely accurate. I guess this label means that this one was measured at 10.0006 K ohms. 0.003% and 25 parts per million on the temperature side. So let's get out a meter here and stick it in. We're within spec. If this is what they say it is, 10.0006 K ohms, then the specifications of the Bryman were definitely in spec here. So this is looking out pretty good here. Let me try it out on my Fluke five and a half digit meter here. Okay, so here's the Fluke's take on it. It's uh, saying it's 10.00010 ohms. And uh, yeah, oh, that's within specifications for sure. They do seem to be accurate enough. So I might get uh, a little, a few more of them, maybe uh, 100K, maybe 1K, maybe 100 ohms, just to keep them around for quick tests, because they certainly seem to live up to their specifications. Okay, very nice. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. This is uh, just a, a set of spare parts for my desoldering tool. You just go into this thing here, which is a, a knockoff of an older model Heiko desoldering tool. And uh, these are kind of a filter, a stainless steel spring, and they'll stop the big lumps of solder. These other little filters here will keep anything very small that gets through these from getting further. And then a, a new set of gaskets for it and a spare tip. So yeah, very reasonably priced too. Okay, last but not least, this uh, package here contains something I saw on another YouTuber's channel. Um, this is, I saw it on Jazzy's channel. She's a, a British YouTuber that does electronics and she got some of these big long screwdrivers. Now I don't think I got exactly the same brand as her, but it seems like such a great idea to have. I do have long screwdrivers, but all I have the tips I have don't cover all my needs. So sometimes I'm in, I'm in an awful way and I, what I do is I'll get a, a, a tip that goes into a socket that goes into two extensions and I got this big wobbly thing that I'm trying to get down from the machine. Sometimes the socket is too big to fit into the hole or space available to me. Six by 300, standard number two Phillips tip on there. And this one's just a standard quarter inch butt blade. And they should come in very handy when dismantling certain pieces of equipment. Okay, folks, that's all I had for you today. Just a quick little mailbag video to get me back into the swing of things. Hopefully, I'll be back another couple of days with a, another video for you, starting a new little experimental project. So until then, uh, be happy, be safe. Bye-bye.